we're just making some comics here. So what I've done here is I've scanned in the comic. And I have scanned it in at 600 DPI. Some of you people would give a crap about this. So I have scanned it in at 600 DPI. And um, it's about, uh, the original size of the drawing is about 12 by 12, somewhere around there. A um, little bigger here, a little bigger, a little less bigger there. Um, and uh, I scan it in, in color. And the reason why is I can make that blue go away. And there's a lot of ways I can make it go away, but I just do it a very quick old-fashioned way, which is turn it into grayscale. And now when I go to do my threshold, which I could have done a different way as well, um, and you know what? You can't see what I'm doing. Hang on here. Well, anyway, who cares? I'll just tell you. So I go in and I do a threshold. And um, image mode, and I go to bitmap, and I choose 600 pixels per inch, 50% threshold, and then it does that to it, and it throws everything that was less than 50% black out. And then I just kind of clean up a little bit more, and you can see a lot of jaggies here. Because the image is so big, they won't show up on the web, or even if I printed it in a book, this thing's kind of massive. It's um. If it's 12 by 12 and it's 600 DPI, a good print res is about 200 for a nice uh, fine art book publishing. And so you would, um, you would, uh, I'm kind of fussing here. Um, yeah, no, none of that works. So uh, you would basically um, do, um, <laughs> Why can't I say what I'm thinking here? You would do um, what would you do? You would do a 600 D oh 600 DPI uh, at 200 DPI for printing would mean that a 12 by 12 would become like three foot by three foot. You could print this thing before the jags started showing up. All these little jiggy jags here. So so as much as it's as much as it's um, Seems like it's messy here. It's not. It's not messy at all. Okay. And uh, I'll do another one of these later in the month again, since this was February's hangout that we're catching up on here, or March's hangout that we're catching up on here. And let's see what we're trying to do here. Uh, I'm just going to be in here. I'm just going to let this stuff go. But I wanted this to look like, I think what you need here is this needs to do that. That needs to come down a little bit more, and that needs to come down a little bit more. And then we need to make our eraser a little bit smaller. And y'all can see my cursor, right? Okay, so then we do that, that, and it look like it bounces in and comes back out. Get it? That's what we want, that look. Boink, boink, boink. And lower just a little bit. Okay, just so it's more on his head. There, donk. Okay, it's distracting. Let's get rid of anything that is distracting. Okay. Ah. I think. If uh, it's the problem, I'll start. That's why I don't like to ink digitally, is I just start worrying about things that I just shouldn't matter. Like I'll, normally, I'd get rid of that. I like I'll start worrying about stuff like that, and who cares? No one will notice but me. Okay, that looks good. Bink, bonk, bink. All right, cool. Okay, so that is um, that, and then I'll show you what I do with that. I got these little dots here. See all these dots up here? Those are to put it back in the drawing, but because I took it out at one pixel size, I got, whoops, I got one more thing here. Because I took it out at one pixel size, um, 
you'll see that um, we'll bring it back in and it'll drop right on top of the other one. So I copy it and I can close that now. I don't need that anymore. I'm just going to bring it right into this guy and it pastes right on top. See? Now these are my inks. Are these my pencils? Yeah, these are my pencils actually. Okay, so I'm going to collapse those down onto their pencils. And I'll put those, this is what I put up for you guys on Patreon a little later today. So I'll just darken that up a little bit so you can see it. Yeah, come on. There we go. Okay. Pencils. Pencils off. Inks on. These are the inks. And then I have a layer back here called blue, and I'll tell you what that's about in a minute. Um, but first, we want to make sure we're still lined up. I've got a frame up here, and you'll see that you can't see it because it's white right now. But if I invert it, you can see it's black. There it is. Bing. Okay. And um, what we can do with that is that's what builds my uh, frame for the... Uh, the web. When I make my YouTube video, I turn that frame off. Here's my signature down there. Because it's too hard to sign your strip every week. And where are you? Why did you end up there? Weird. Odd. Okay. We'll figure out what's going on. Um... Okay, so inks, first thing I do is I turn off, I go to my magic wand, which is this guy here. You'll see it's called magic wand, Linda, or just W. And I grab all the white, and to grab all the white, I turn all of these layers off. See all that? Oops, I'm on the wrong layer. I grab all the white, and I turn off contiguous and sample all layers, and it literally grabs every white pixel in there. And then if I want to make sure that they're all gone, when I backspace it out, you can see the transparency layer now. Okay, and here's my white layer, just so I can see what I'm doing. And then I can go throw away my black dots for registration. Go throw those out. Dink. And that is it. Now we're ready to color. It's kind of that simple. So that. So why would I do that? Let me show you why I do that. Now I'll go grab all the black. And in the world of printing, that black isn't a good printer color. So I'll take that down to zero, 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 and 100% black. But now I don't have what's called a super black. So my blue layer here does that. This is last week's. So I always just hang on to last week's. So I've got the color. And I made this blue out of like a 38, 12, 7. And there's, there's a lot of different formulas. I've seen 25, 10, 10, and I've seen 10, 10, 10s. But you throw a little bit of color on each, each of the layers behind the black. So first thing we're going to go do is we grab the color, I, back, uh, I backspace out the blue, and then I go up here and I hold Command and I touch this picture and it grabs all the pixels in that frame. And because there are no other pixels than black pixels, there's not a single gray pixel in there, uh, we're ready to go. And now I come up here to Select, Modify, I contract one pixel, okay? And then I put that blue underneath there. Option, delete on a Macintosh. I have no idea what it is on the other one. And you can see now the blue's there. And what that does is the black layer is multiplied. And so it makes a deeper black on top of everything else. Okay, that's my color from last week. Makes sense? Far out so far? Ruby, excellent. Okay, so that's it. It's ready to, now I'm ready to uh, paint. I can turn my frame back on. And I will just paint down here on this white layer for now. And then when I'm done, I'll collapse it down on my old colors. And if I need some colors, I have a couple of things going for me here. One is I'll use the recent colors. But I can also go up here to my palette. And I have made a, let's go replace swatches. Because I kind of messed it up here. See this green over here? Uh, let's see. Don't save. I have made a color palette for myself if I can remember where I put it. Oh, there it is right there. And uh, that is it. And that 
color palette matches the old Buffalo Press American Color Press uh, color chart from my syndication days. It was actually flipped on its side. And then these are Norm skin colors. This is Ford skin colors. This is Norm's hair, uh, Ren's hair, and Ford's hair. And that's all I ever put in here. I didn't put in his pants color because I just change it whenever I darn well feel like it. So what I can do quickly is turn that on, go here, go back to my drop bucket. Okay, my bucket. See the bucket there? As it says, paint bucket tool. And I'll do what's called flatting, which is I'll just quickly put all the colors in. <clears throat> and since it's... Uh, a lot of comic book artists uh, and comic companies pay for this, comic book companies. And even uh, the syndicates, the, the daily strips now are flatted and colored by a company. Uh, what's going on? I think I've got a, yeah, oh, look at that. I've got a just a percentage on that. I get it. So my, I got a 20% on that layer is why it's showing up that way. I should have fixed it. Yes, it did. See, I saw that over there. Some norms. Body sticking through. Now we got all that stuff. Okay, looking good. Uh, so back to this. Save. <clears throat> oh, and if you want to know what I do here real quick, I'll do this. I'll flip these two. This is what I output here for you guys. Most every week. I do this. You go shift option command. It brings this up. I make it 1200 DPI. And this is what I'll send to you on Patreon. I'll make it a JPEG as well. And we'll go put that on the desktop. So we're ready to go here. Okay. Blues, pencils on there. Okay, so now we'll color. We'll go grab Norm's tone. And if I just click in color, you can see, even though I have contiguous on, um, it doesn't know to trap to any of this stuff. So what I want to trap to is all layers. In this case, I want to trap to the blue. I want to turn off my black, undo that, leave blue on, and I'm going to hit all layers up here. Anti-aliasing is off because that's our it's not our friend. And now we should have I have a hole in Norm's nose somewhere. I do a little right there. And because I'm coloring on a different layer than the blue, you can see that the blue stays on top. And the blue isn't multiplied, so it's knocking this stuff out. And now when I hit Norm's skin colors, I can just sit, quickly sit here and tap in all the skin tones. And uh, my son finally came up with a name for this guy. And uh, I don't know if I'm ready to share it because I don't know if he's firm about it, but uh, it might be named after the first guitar he owned. So that was kind of cool. Let's see if anybody wrote here over on Patreon. Go check my mail here. Yes. Oh, Ralph says I can't email any questions. Steve Groves, yeah, let me, uh, Steve Groves also, or Stephen wrote, I tend to work at my board with old Simpsons playing in the background. Stephen doesn't have a microphone. Okay, so let's see. Uh, why don't we do questions, if you guys can hear me, you can ask questions on Patreon, and I'll leave it up here. Oh, wow, it's actually playing on the page. Oh, I see why you guys are over here. Okay, cool. Well, Stephen here, I'll reply, reply to you. I'm replying to you. Uh, okay, there's Stephen. And then Mary says, looking forward to it. Will there be any Easter eggs? Uh, no, Mary, I, and Ralph wrote directly, Ralph, say, Ralph, uh, we're here. How about that? Okay. So we'll do a chat over there, and I apologize that I thought I had this all figured out again, and I'm going to have to dig through the uh, research. Okay, so there's that. Um, hands. Oh, look at this. There's an error. Oops. <laughs> Just realized I put four fingers on him. Poor baby. He's a freak. Uh, let's go up here and throw that out. 
He's a freak, baby. Huh. Is that how that, I don't know if that's how a hand looks. It's a weird ass hand, you guys. I'm gonna do that hand over. This invariably happens. Kid's got the longest, biggest hand on earth ever too, but. Oh, it's the wrong color. There, you better. Oh, I gotta erase that. Can't pull it white in there. I think I just put that black down on the blue layer. Yes, I did. Okay, there you go. Black blue layer. Oh, uh, blue layer. Save. And throw that out. Okay, that looks more like a finger and a hand and all that sort of stuff. Thanks for catching that. Okay, let's see. Ralph, Stephen wrote, Ralph wrote. Um, okay. <sighs> I wonder, well, you know what? I'll figure it out next time. I'm just lame at this. I'm going to be guilty about it all week. Uh, this is a little weird here too. Let's fix that. Over here, that's supposed to be a wrinkle. I, you're saying, well, what's weird about it? it? Looked okay to you. Well, what it is for me is uh, clarity. If if it doesn't feel like it's doing anything, what's it doing there in the first place? Um, yeah, back to color. See, I can do that, and I can do that. Oh, I can't do that, though. Hey, when it makes up its own mind on stuff, it's weird how it works. Yeah, there you go. I think, and then these will trap nicely. And I should turn that off again, because otherwise, see what's going on there? It's got one pixel left. So I want to trap to the uh, blue line so that it's all the way underneath. Doink, doink, doink. This is Norm's hair. And, uh, you know, I'll show you. I'll show you how to do that. Norm's sweater is usually purple. So there's a real easy way to color this, which is I'm down on this layer and I can just paint underneath it. Remember how it's already set up for that? So I'll just do it like this. Another quick way is you can go turn off all that stuff. Just grab the whole thing like that. Go back to your bucket. Turn off all layers, remember? Because now it's not listening to the blue anymore. So there's a lot of little tricks like that to kind of get through this quickly. All right. Okay. Et voilà. The no and the boy. Maybe, um, bah, 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 bah. let's see, since it's a baseball joke, we'll put them in green. Where's the hole? It's right there. Oh, come on. <laughs> you see that one pixel there? You stink. Oh, there's another one. Hey, where are you? <laughs> oh, I didn't turn on all layers. Never mind. Ah. Seriously, I've done this before. Okay. There we go. Okay. Bonk, 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 bonk. And bonk. Okay. I have orange here. And this is where I'll just go get it from last week. He's in here, right? Yeah, I want to pick some up from school. There he is. And that one, I just drop it in. This, um, he's supposed to have the big baby spiky hair, you know? I don't know if anybody had the babies with the spiky hair. And my son was a carrot top about 
almost two years. Oh, there's Mary. Uh, I am wearing a giant bunny suit. Yes, Mary, I am. It's baby blue, though. Okay, so we've colored, so we flatted this first one, see? And we'll go flat the next one. Do something with that ball eventually. Uh, let's see, hair color again. Get the hair, oh, there's a hole right there. Hair, and then we'll give him a uh, shirt. Oh, there's a hole right there, I see it, just as I was hitting the... We'll grab the skin tone. There's a hole right there. It's cool. And there was a when I was using Flash a lot for animation. There's a little gap tool in there that allows you to set it so it knows that, like you know, fill things in that have a certain uh, gap distance on it. Let's see if he's wearing orange. Let's put him in blue. We will go with complementary colors here today. Pink tone and uh, baseball glove. Baseball glove. Oh, kind of that color, I guess. Right? No, not yellow enough. Too yellow. Let's see if anybody said anything else. Um, okay, cool. That's really yellow. Man, that is third munching. Poop colored. There you go. That's even poopier, but it'll look good by the time we're done. We'll put some dark brown on it. And then the key here is that he has different colored gloves over the years so that you know he's growing up. Because the gag is this is happening over time. So Norm uh, would have gotten him a like a um, Let's see, let's go, let's go with like those bright red gloves or something. Okay, you percent, eight percent, there you go. There we go. Okay. All right. Um, oh, it's set to eighty percent. Great, Jancy. Oh, great of failures again. Okay, well, so you get the idea here, and I don't have to color the whole thing because we have about 20 minutes left. But I'll show you what I do with the rest of it. So once that would be done, we would come in and, um, you know, color the rest of it. So I, I could show you this one. This one's more fun. And originally, sometimes I go to the, uh, you know, I go to those backgrounds that look like this. Studio. No, not that one. Like this one, where I do the uh, white figures on the on the colored backgrounds. But I I need to borrow. I need to, I need full color on these so that you know that he doesn't have the same shirt on every day. So I want to make sure that's real clear. So I'll actually color these out. Um, see, I think we had a sky color here somewhere. It's got a little too much yellow in it, maybe a little more blue. Make it a happy day. Oh, it's orange on Armageddon. And, uh, yeah, cool. Did you get everything else? Yeah. Back and grab this. I'm using the uh, lasso tool here, which is my best friend. I use this tool here. And for this, we'll use uh, his hair color. Let's go get his hair color. Oh, boy. Yeah. And then we'll. This 
Hey, I must have multiplied something. I did. And we'll do it again. And we'll do it again. And we'll do it again. And we'll do it more time. Too much. And we'll do it again. What did that do? Paint this faster. I always do it this way. This way, it's more tedious, and I know to enjoy myself because that's that's what's important. And we're gonna throw that. Oops. There we go. And throw that one away. Okay. You can work. Mary says that my hands are so small. Uh, I still regret not buying a used pink one when I had my, the chance. No, they're, you know, you can probably get one on eBay. That's what eBay is for. And Stephen says, I color so much differently. I know, right, Stephen? That's, I guess you can kind of do anything you want. Um, you, uh, um, you know, results matter on that sort of stuff. And, um, Ralph says, what's your relationship with Go Comets since the Norm 4.0? Are they strictly cartoonist within the syndicate? I'm not sure what you mean there. Um, say it again slowly. Um, if you mean what was it? Oh, since. Yeah, I don't know what you mean. You mean like uh, what was, oh, look what I did there. That last little black one I did was... Uh, and do that because I had put black in there first and it filled some black that was evil yeah. okay um, yeah feel free to ask that one again I'm not sure it's uh, they're just distributing it just gave me a way to put it online and not have to worry about all the ad crap and there's already a lot of people there and uh, it um, and I kind of like those guys. Sheena's nice, and uh, John's nice, and uh, they've never really pissed me off. <laughs> Best review ever. They've never pissed me off. Thumbs up. Okay, there you go. Give me the green uh, visor. You gotta have the green visor. Not a baseball hat without the green visor. Um, so yeah, uh, let's see. There, what was the uh, the name of the the baseball team that uh, Norman Ford and Renee or Ren used to go to? Was um, Swingers. That's the uh, team there. Good God, where's the hole? See how obnoxious this is? His mom's got the same problem. All those years I've had to color her um, hair because it's open. She had the bangs and it's open there. So uh, let's see here. Same problem. Looks like he's missing part of his shirt, too. Put that in and put ink a line there. Not sure where that went. Okay, so then a good glove at the end. Let's give him a dark brown glove. Okay, so flatting done. Um See if anybody else, Ralph. Yeah, okay. Um, hair colors. Oops. 
there. And uh, let's see, Norn can have like this glove going. Okay. Dark green, I guess bushes are green and never another color. Don't ever think that bushes should be any color but green because that's ridiculous. Stop being a free thinker. Uh, let's see here. What, uh, we'll go with this. See, look at that. Somebody asked the other day on uh, Go Comics what the hell this was in the foreground when I made a purple bush. And it was like, that actually made me smile because it was like, yes. If I can just piss off one person with the wrong color bush, imagine what I could do if I started doing jokes about things other than short pauses in the insanity so all right oh. that flatted yeah, yeah I filled that in norm needs pants and that's that color. Oh, there we go. What did I do that? Oh, I see. It's right there. Oh, okay. Same thing up here. Grab that. Oh, that looks nice. And that is that. So that's that is a flat in my first pass. And then from there I'll I'll do some tones and I'll, do, I'll show you how I do normal real quick. So there's I don't really worry about lighting too much, but logic sort of matters. So I don't I don't go past that. And so I'll go grab this skin tone right here. I need to go turn on contiguous up here and just grab one face, and then I will erase all of that but he has a hat on hang on and that's what this color is for this is their shade of their face and then for the nose this is a new thing a little bit of uh, shadow on the nose now too. you see that okay it's a huge nose on and then same with hands that color and I'll put that in here like this. I'll just paint that one in. All right, yeah, that would be all good. And then on my good friend down here. Maybe there and there. Yeah. Okay. And there. And there. And there. And on this one, since the sun's coming in from that way, we'll do this one with a little bit of backlighting. And think about which way that was. Uh, it's too dark. Hang on. No, that's it. Yeah, it's too dark for him. Let's lighten him up a little bit. And grab his neck. Put a little bit there. And oops, oops. Uh, you know, and then from there, I do some stuff on the glove, turn this uh, my opacity down. I can go get a different brush, but I end up using kind of the same brush over and over. Um, I'm just put some, some scratches and stuff on that. And maybe some darker stuff here. And this is about 20%. So I'm just kind of not, I don't, uh, I don't paint for volume. I paint more for, I think it looks right. And then I've, if you notice, uh, his hair has usually at least one rim color on it. So I'll go grab that and then I'll just paint that rim in there real quick. 
hundred percent. So, so that's kind of what we do, like that. Oh, let's see what else. You know, from there we could come in and there's this trees here. So, I may come in and do a thing like this. And uh, put some uh, leaf holes in it. Put one where you can see it. Nothing overly fancy, and I will soften that with a modify edge uh, feather, which has a key, but who cares? And then I'll just go get the uh, the burn tool here. See this tool? Quit moving. There it is. Burn tool. Make it bigger, and I've got it set to 100% right now. So it's really gonna do a lot to it. I'll go hide my my keys. And we get a nice little, isn't that pretty? That's nice. Oh, God, it's just gorgeous. Grab the sky. And um, get a different brush. Where'd the brush go? Yeah, the brushes. <laughs> We're all brushing up. There we go. Uh, what do we got here? What are you? There we go. Perfect. Yeah, let's see what that looks like. Okay. And uh, do I have everything selected or just the sky? No, I have everything selected. So let's go grab the sky again. We'll hide the curly ants. We won't. Let me just lighten that up. Put a little bit of in there. Too much. I'm a big fan of gradients, so when I do gradients, I do them like that. And I'll warm that stuff up. I've got my yellow here. I can go choose my brush. And instead of normal, I'll go do like a, uh, a color burn or a light or a screen. So let's do a screen. And then I'll kind of soften it without darkening it. It doesn't just add to it. it, it uh, so let's take a little extra color on there. You know, just a little bit, a little bit. Same thing here. Grab the burn tool. Uh, actually, do this to do it. Too soft. I got it set to 50. It's going to mess with the midtones. It's protecting tones. Let's turn on these sensitive. It was on. So, what's that doing? Yeah, it's making that. I don't like those soft edges. The hard one. 100% hardness, and that should give us yeah, a much harder line. Good, good, good. So you can see what's going on there. Kind of an old bit of business that I from one of my favorite strips, Polly and her pals. I just love how uh, that strip looks. It's groovy. Steer it. If you don't know, that's the street that Norm lives on. 3211 Sterrett Avenue. Oh, I should check it. Let's see what you guys have. Differently, results matter. Oh, do I feel more freedom being online? Yeah, you know, the, the boob hub gag was actually from um, syndication. Uh, I can't believe I got that one through. Um, I also got stuff through on boogers and all sorts of stuff at some point. Some of them were Sundays. But uh, it just sort of became a, uh, not an obsession, but a little game to see if I could get stuff by the editor at King. And, um, you know, the biggest, the only outrage we, I think, I ever really had was that uh, Norm waking up in bed with Renee thing. I got so many letters about how Norm was a fornicator and all that sort of stuff that, uh, oh, it's on screen is what's going on. Um, it was a little weird. I'm getting rid of this because this line right here is lining up with that line. It's driving me nuts. 
I know I saw that. Um, there you go. The uh, yeah, that that's about the only thing where I've ever had that. Otherwise, actually, I found when I first left uh, syndication, I did try. I did some, you know, saucier stuff. And it's that's for other people to do. Um, I'm just not that guy. I don't get. Uh, I don't know why that's my thing. I just uh, kind of how it works out. Okay. Good. Good. So you get the idea. Um, yeah, the question is, would I put a background? I don't know if I'd put a background on these four. I think I'll put a background on this one. And I probably could have used a, a prettier background to start with. Oops. <laughs> now we know where that is. Ah. All falling apart. Back up here so I can see my frames. And what did I do here? Somehow. That's not my little awesome frame. It's making me sad. Oh, one more. Pretty little rotten. Okay. So yeah, this needs a background. And uh, let's see, we'll turn that back to um, do that in a minute. Let's see, pencils white and colors. So we'll grab. Uh, let's go try this. Something a little mellower. Yeah. You get the idea. I got to fix that face. It's driving me nuts. This one's a little wide. Okay. Um, that is sort of uh, what we got. Let's see here. Oh, there's another comment. Let's see. Ralph, we're here. Looking forward to it. Uh, when there are any Easter eggs. Oh, uh, Ralph. Oh, I see, Ralph, what you're asking. Yes, they are a syndicate. It's a... Uh, but they're not a syndicate in that sense. I think, you know, I've never really talked to them about what they're doing in terms of development, but I imagine that Go Comics is sort of a place to soft, or not soft develop, but develop strips and markets and ideas first. Um, I know that Stefan with Pearls Before Swine had started online uh, years back. And uh, let's see if I can quit sharing my screen here. And he, um, Stop presenting. Stop screen sharing. I guess. There we go. So yeah, Stefan had um, uh, started uh, Pearls Before Swine online for quite a while, and then it built out um, from there. And he's over at Universal Press and all that now because of uh, the merger of United Media with the other one. Um, so let's see. Uh, or are they a web comic service that is open to non syndicated cartoons? Yes. So. There's three levels on Go Comics. Uh, there's the Comic Sherpa, which I think pretty much anybody can put their strip up there, you know, within the the boundaries of whatever their, you know, their publishing boundaries are. What do you call that? User agreement. Um, and then um, and then Go Comics is meant for. It's kind of like where archive strips go now. You'll see. A lot of the old classic strips are running up there. Um, even Berkeley Brothers College strip is running up there. Um, uh, and then, of course, all the strips that are syndicated are there as well, so that they're kind of mixed in. But um, uh, no, I with with I don't know what it is with the comic strip, but with with Go Comics, I signed a contract, so I'm making money off a small. It's not a lot of money. 
but I get a percentage of the uh, the ad revenue. And let's see what else. So could a uh, Go Comic strip turn into a syndicated strip? I think they have, other than Stefan. I think there's been one or two others where that's happened. Uh, let's see what else. Um, um, after watch, oh, after Stephen says or asks, after, or I don't know what you're saying. Are you saying it or asking? After watching strip, I'm not sure if I want to bother submitting. That's why I'm building a website. Yeah, you know, I'm. That's kind of why I decided to do a weekly strip. Um, I missed not Norm as much as I missed drawing, and and it Norm was just the short path to the whim of I. I started up this new version of Norm. Um, uh, I think I made up my mind on a Wednesday and it was like, I just started drawing it. And then uh, it occurred to me, I think by Friday that I should call go comics and have them host it instead. I was going to put it on jancy.com. And, uh, and they said, uh, yeah, sure. We'll do it. But, you know, give us a couple of months to, you know, get the contract and all the stuff that goes together. And uh, so uh, I just went ahead and started publishing it in the norm classics which completely confused people. Uh, and that way I just started when I wanted to start. But um, uh, I don't, um, we're gonna go over here a little bit, but whatever. I don't know if it turns off, does it turn off? No. So uh, I started late. So the um, the advice I have for you, Stephen, is I think it, you're probably best just creating what you wanna create. And then if, um, if it's the right idea that that fits sort of like this new unicorn strip seems to be doing pretty well um, and good enough that, you know, everybody would get it and it works in the syndication model, then do it. Because uh, if, if you, you, you know, if you, it, there's less chance that you'll get syndicated. There's less chance you'll be successful, let's say 200 papers, which is kind of probably somewhere around the, the, the hundred thousand dollar mark where you, that's your share. Imagine it's um, it's uh, probably in the um, 125 to 200 papers. It depends on how big the papers are and what they're paying. And I'm sure they're all paying less these days. So, um, you know, if you're trying to get to a certain salary, yeah, you know, syndication has less to promise you than it ever has. But then so does, you know, being online is so much hustle. And so for me, all I wanted to do, um, which was part of the Patreon idea, was I just want to draw this thing and – if people want to read it, cool. And if they don't, then fine. Um, I'm, you know, I'm back to animating uh, and directing animation and all that stuff. So that's kind of my day salary. And then the rest of this is uh, is the stuff that can eventually lead towards me not doing as much freelance or, you know, maybe a second strip and all that sort of stuff. Um, so for me, doing Normigan is more about, you know, the, the longer five-year plan thing and just kind of being happy and having fun with it. And, uh, you know, instead of worrying about all the, the business stuff, that seems to, I think I, I think I did that too much the first time around and it didn't help. Let's see if anybody else wrote anything else. Um,